Hey everybody, this is Greg with Medical Muscle, and today I'm going to talk about something that I'm getting a lot of questions about. Uh, should you make your own Anki cards or should you use a pre-made deck? Well, I've done both and I'm going to give you my opinion. So let's talk about the pros and cons of each. Okay, so with the pre-made deck, um, the pro is you don't have to spend any time making Anki cards, okay? And what's nice with some of the pre-made decks that other SGU students have made, they link um, first aid right into the uh, right into the answer. So you can instantly go to that and see why. And some of them even put in Sketchy, um, which I don't use, but it's kind of nice if you use Sketchy, you can, you can, it can kind of jog your memory, okay? So it saves a lot of time. Uh, it's got some cool applications. Um, it's it's kind of efficient. It can be efficient. Okay, here's the downside. <laughs> Sometimes the material doesn't quite line up uh, with the um, lecture slides or the lectures that you're working on that week. So you really have to go through and pick and choose what you're going to study for that time, that that week, and that takes some time. Okay, so then you're cutting into a little bit of time there. There could also be um, things that are not quite correct or they're not explained in a way that really helps you understand the material, okay? You know, you're, you're going off of someone else's opinion on how to remember this piece of information, but you may create your own version that's much better and more solid and actually helps you understand the material, okay? So that's kind of the, the con with this. Now, Let's talk about making your own Anki cards, okay? So uh, I've made my Anki cards pretty much since term one. I've stopped in term five, but what I've done is uh, I, that's how I would take my notes. I didn't do any other type of uh, memory retention stuff except for whiteboarding. I would basically go through a lecture and make cards as I went. And that's how, I, instead of making notes, you know, like in a note, book or something like that, um, I would make Anki cards. And it worked very well for me. I got to pick out the nitty gritty that I wanted to know, which ended up being on the exam that some of these pre-made decks might have not covered, okay? Because often they don't cover everything. And uh, it helped my retention because I made them myself. Now, the con is it takes forever. In the beginning, when I was just starting, um, it would take me three hours, maybe even three and a half hours per lecture, okay? That's a lot of time to spend making cards, but, okay, granted, that was my pre and post reading. I didn't do any pre reading and I didn't really do any post reading. That was, it was just one really hardcore post read, okay? Uh, with my, with making the Anki card and then just doing them. Um, the other con with making your own cards or what I noticed is that I made a lot of cards. I made way more than necessary. I think one block, I made like 2,000 cards. <laughs> All right, it's insane, but that's what I did and it paid off, but it was a lot of work. I was wasting a lot of time making cards. And as I've gone through these terms, I've found that it's become less important to use Anki or pick out every single detail because you also have to get through the material at a certain pace. Another benefit of making your own cards is that you can screenshot the lecture slides and throw it right into the card. You can add images, you can Google images, you can throw them in there. That was really nice. I would make myself multiple choice questions. Um, so there was a lot more variety. But again, it would take a lot of time. So you kind of have to weigh the um, pros and cons of uh, using someone else's deck, you know, someone else's notes basically, or making your own, okay? You're saving time, but then you're losing retention. The other version is you're losing a lot of time, but you your retention goes up because you made it. So one other thing, this is the one kind of situation where I have found that a pre-made deck was extremely helpful, like an unbelievably helpful amount. During term one, at the end of the term, you have a um, musculoskeletal exam. You get an MSK exam uh, of um, lab stuff, 
write some images, just a bunch of images of different anatomical structures. I got access to a deck that had 900 uh, questions, or excuse me, 900 cards, okay, of just eras pointing to different structures. Now with that, I found that extremely helpful. I looked at it the night before, all 900 cards I just powered through, okay, looked at each of them, because you can do that with images. You can't do that with like facts where you actually have to know, but if you're just looking at an image, you, if you know it, then you can just instantly know it. I looked at all those, and then the day of the exam, I looked at them, and then in between blocks, I looked at those. And I ended up doing very well on that lab exam. Okay, so that's where I really think using a pre-made deck is very helpful. It's something with just straight images. But there's not many exams that you're gonna have in, in SGU that you're going to just have images, okay? It was only during term one where that was like that, the uh, lab exam uh, material, just anatomy stuff. So that made sense. Um, and uh, other than that, I hope you guys do very well on your exams and I hope you kick butt.